well. I understand that, and I'm not saying you're not going to do it, but there is a reality. That is, as, as a member of the criminal justice system, you have to work with the police department. Right. Now, traditionally, the state's attorney has been cozy with the police department and has failed to prosecute police officers mm -hmm. because they have a relationship. And that's undeniable. You can't right. deny that that's not the case. How do you balance that relationship because you want a good relationship with the police department because you know they investigate the crimes and you all prosecute them. Mm -hmm. With your duty as a public servant, you prosecute crimes like cops killing kids. How do you balance these two things? And the reason why they let they don't prosecute because they don't want to have problems with the police department they gotta work with. That's why he's not prosecuting. Well the the, the, the first, how do you balance these two interests? The first piece is you, as the state's attorney, have to establish the nature of the relationship. We need the Baltimore City Police Department, and by needing them, it means we're going to demand the very best from you. It means that we are going to work hand in hand and train you. We're not going to give you a once in a one time a year in service training. We're going to get our best. All prosecutors aren't necessarily great litigators, but some are great educators. So we need to put them inside. The police academy, when every new group comes through, you are teaching these guys from day one how to write a proper statement of probable cause, how to understand the nuances of the Constitution, and how to apply it. Okay? So when that happens. Baseline. So, 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 so